This I, is... I was... Ch- whatever, go. Oh, Holy no, no, shit, no, no. this episode's Jesus. already ruined. Oh, my God. What yeah, the Jesus fuck? Jackson. It's good. Cancel it. What? I, oh I didn't realize you were going to go so hard into it. That's fine. God. Just wanted to talk about my feelings for once. All right, we'll go for it. I yeah, want to hear it now. No. By all means. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I want to hear gonna it. I was going to say, is, is, uh, do you guys have... Um, Monitors that make noises from the oh back of them. It God. sounds like this what a, a lame f- topic. What a boring. It is not the topic. I was asked oh. that before. I wanted to ask it before the podcast started. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said you wanted to talk about your feelings. Your feelings are of monitors making noise. Well, my feelings towards it are irritation. If we really wanted to get into the feelings. Mm. No, I don't. That sounds boring. Right. Charlie, go ahead. Is that really what you were going to lead with, Jackson? That What's wasn't the, the topic for the show. I was, just, I was just asking a oh, question. Okay. Well, then, I, I didn't realize that you would go show? so hard into it. Well, I, I didn't have time to... Uh, well, I did have time, but it came to my mind as I was clapping because I could hear the buzzing from the back of the monitor. And it sounds oh. like there's machinery inside there, like like an actual engine. How old is your monitor? I don't know, like two two years? You probably Not bought a piece to... of shit. Yeah, it sounds like you bought a piece of shit. All right, lead us yeah, in, Jolly. All right, the <laughs> official podcast. Uh, Kaya took a shit that landed himself in the hospital. Let's let's talk about it. Can we? Uh, okay, so I told Jackson before the show. I don't know if I can tell that story yet because I tried to collect my thoughts on it, and uh, this feeling of just, I don't know, sadness overcame me. And I don't know if this is what they call trauma, but can we? Bless you. Thank you. Can we start with like a different topic, <laughs> Jackson? With maybe your Taliban, while Are I gather the sad? courage to Are speak up hurt? about my truth. Yes. What happened? I was in the most pain I'd ever been. Really? Jeez. Okay. Right. Fine. So. <laughs> okay. God, that whole day was such a fucking nightmare. It started with a real nightmare, by the way. So I, I was dreaming about being stuck in a catacomb labyrinth knees deep in water or something that one of our in our group turned out to be a cia agent who then quickly ran to the exit and like buried us alive and i was like screaming and i woke up and i was all sweaty and shit so i'm up now at 4 fucking a.m i don't know what to do i'm bored so i'm spending time at the computer after a while suddenly i have to take a shit right (laughs) so i go to the bathroom and i can't I had, to t- I had to take such a bad shit, but I couldn't. I think I was constipated. But I could feel... So you guys know how your ass is very, very accurate in how it feels, like the tactile. <laughs> you yeah, can kind of yeah mine what's talks to me, it. yeah. Yeah, it's very yeah. in touch with its feelings, yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. I could feel that there was one fucking nugget just stuck like a cork. I was holding back an avalanche of shits, but I just couldn't push past it. And it got really, really fucking bad. I get so bad that I started to convulse in cramps. So this was around like 5 a.m., I want to say. Probably. So I'm on and off the toilet. I can't take a shit. The pain is getting worse and worse. I'm starting to sweat. It's a cold day, by the way. I'm starting to sweat. I sit down on the toilet. I can't shit. I can't do anything. So now I'm deliberating, like, what do I do? Like, it, it hurts a lot. Do I put a finger in my ass and, like, rummage around, <laughs> try to blend it up and pull the nugget out? Like, what do I do? I, I genuinely don't know what to do. I'm extremely desperate. So I'm now... You know how when you really, really, really have to shit, you start getting those cold sweats and pain? Yeah. That started oh, yeah. happening. So mm-hmm. I, I started getting these cold sweats, and I started shaking, like, pushing... But at the same time, (laughs) I was in so much pain. I started pushing and pushing, but I was in so much pain that I could no longer do it because I was getting dizzy and sick. I was actually getting, yeah, I was like, I was getting woozy. I I genuinely thought I was about to pass out on the toilets, but at the same time, it felt like my guts were about to explode, right? So I don't know what to do. Just from one little nugget. From that one fucking nugget. At the time, I thought so. Anyway. So Uh the pain is extremely bad now. Oh, but people are saying in the chat prolapse. Yeah, that was another fear. Like, I'm pushing so fucking hard. Like, either I'm going to get a prolapse or my stomach is about to burst and I'm going to leak shit into my own abdomen. Yeah, like, that's 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 what my theory was going to be. Like, you were going to shit out your own arsehole. Like, that little nugget that you felt inside was your actual arsehole and you were just pushing that out. By that time, I would have taken a break. Fucking get up, walk around. 
I couldn't. I he couldn't. couldn't. Yeah, okay, he said so he couldn't that's the like thing. move. All oh, right. Andrew, I couldn't get up. I don't know what it was about. I don't know. I don't know fucking physiology or anything, but I could not walk for more than two seconds. God. It would be too painful. I would have to sit back down. And if I was going to sit back down, I might as well sit back down on the toilet, right? So now I'm in such horrible pain. I'm thinking, it's like 6 a.m. now. This is going on for like an hour. I'm thinking, fuck. This is humiliating, but I'm going to have to, like, get help, right? So. Oh, man. I, who the fuck do I call, though? I don't fucking know. Yeah, who do you know. even go to shit. for that? I, I don't. So, right, so I call my older sister, like, for advice, like, what do I do? Well, that's the wrong, so I call that's her. the wrong person. <laughs> no, I would not no my older sister, sister loves me, and she, she, you know, she knows what to do. I, I figured, fuck it, who's the closest to, a, like, a mother figure here to ask for help? I'm really, I'm almost, like, delirious at this point. So I call her at, like, 6 uh, a.m., 6 a.m. and 10 minutes. No answer, because it's 6 fucking a.m. I call her again five minutes later, and I call her again five minutes later after that. Uh, she finally picks up, and in my complete humiliation, I'm like, I'm in pain. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> She's like rubbing her eyes, presumably, getting like the night's crust out of her eyes. Like, what's going on, Kaya? And I'm like, I think I'm constipated. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I can barely speak. So we talk, and she explains to me, well, you know, usually, like, I, I could come over, we could drive you to a doctor or something, but it's like 6 a.m., right? So, yeah. and if you're telling me that you can't even get up, like, I might have to call you an ambulance. Now, before I continue with the story, I want to make cl uh, clear, I do not abuse the medical system, okay? I pay, I, I pay what I believe to be more than my fair share in taxes and health insurance, right? And I go to mm -hmm. the doctor, like, maybe once a year, if that. I hate doctors, nothing personal. But at that point, I'm feeling immense shame, like... They're going to send an ambulance because I can't shit. And then it got even worse because my sister asked, Kaya, do you think you can open the door for them? Are you able to? So now I'm like face palming and I'm slinking into my own lap thinking, oh, no, they're going to have to like kick down my door <laughs> and carry me on a stretcher. Like people are going to think I committed suicide or something when like I, I just don't want to shit myself. And again, this is so embarrassing for me, but... Well, you could have like got was, ahead of it while they were taking you out on the stretcher. You should have been like, I just need to shit. I've just got to shit. It's OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could have just been letting everyone know, like giving a thumbs up, like when a football yeah. player gets well, carried I, off the field. Oh, I didn't lie. <laughs> yeah. I didn't lie about anything. I, I said from the beginning, I'm constipated. Right. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I thought at the time, which I still think was the case. But again, I was in so much pain. I had never in my life been in that much pain to my recollection in 30 years. That was the worst I've like? ever been in. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, don't, I can't describe pain to you, really. Just it was below my belly button and it was just awful. I, I had never, I've never broken a bone or anything. I was never in a car accident. I don't know. I've never had that pain. Jackson, you I know the, uh, did think, the pain when you really got to take a shit? It was like that. Yeah. The time's well, 100. Because it, it, it sounds worse. Yeah. It, yeah. it sounds but, well, like because I couldn't. Life changing. And because of that, like at this point, my belly is like protruding and I feel like, oh, OK, you know, I, I, I either have to just bite the bullet and do it or I might actually burst something. I don't want to die just because I was stubborn. Right. So I tell her, fine, fuck it. Call the call the ambulance. So I struggle 10 more minutes, um, get a, the door rings. Right. I managed to get up and waddle to the door. Again, I feel like I'm about to shit myself. Did you pull your pants thing. up or was this like full trouser down <laughs> model? It's, it's an actual no, model. I, I managed to put on shirts and uh, boxers ah. uh, and the shorts. So I'm standing there. I'm sweating. I open the door. I'm sweating. Sweat is literally dripping down my brow. They're looking at me. So the uh, it's a woman, EMT and a man. They're looking at me. What seems to be the problem, sir? And I go, I'm constipated. With complete <laughs> shame in my voice. <laughs> I say, I'm in pain. I don't know what to do. I'm about to pass out. And they said, well, grab your mask. Let's go. And they wow. asked, can you walk down the stairs? I said, I'll try. So I waddle into <laughs> the fucking... they have to carry you down the stairs? Like a piggyback? Oh, God. Well, that's the thing. I couldn't even straighten up. Like, even if they put me in a stretcher, I couldn't lie down. I had to be hunched mm -hmm. over, otherwise it was just too painful. So at that point, my sister is also, she arrives because she's super worried about me. She wants to be there. Um, I told Aww. her she doesn't have to come to the 
hospital with me, but so they put me in the ambulance. I sit down. Um, the lady asks me, are you usually this pale? And I don't understand what she asked me because I'm delirious, right? So she asks my sister, is he usually this pale? And she goes, well, he's usually, you know, on the lighter side, but I've never seen him this pale. I've also never ever seen him complain about pain in my whole life. So I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, a small, a small piece of my manhood has been preserved. <laughs> my man cred. I'm so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, at least she knows that I wouldn't whine about nothing. Did she also follow um, up with like, and I've, I've accidentally seen his dick and it was huge. <laughs> no, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. My, my dick at the time was shriveling from the pain, by the way. <laughs> There was no. There was nothing to I, say. I, I know his dick is small now, sir, but normally it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> cool system. Anyway, so <laughs> they they close the ambulance door. They put the that all that stuff around my arm to measure my blood pressure and shit. And then my heartbeat is at like one thirty at this point. Uh, we start driving, and it was the longest fucking drive of my life. Obviously, they're gonna need and to do an s- extraction, right? They they're actually gonna need to climb on a, up in there and get it out. Well, surely. let him finish this. That's story. what I'm. Yeah, I am. I just I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. He's gonna tell us about the hamster that crawled in there while he was sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> near accident. <laughs> um, so we're driving. I turn to the lady who's sitting next to me, completely dispassionate. By the way, she genuinely doesn't give a shit. And at this point, I'm in so much pain. I'm like in and out of it. I like moaning lightly. I. I and I realized I'm really, really parched. Like I'm dehydrated. I'm thirsty. I, and I turn to her. I ask, <laughs> "Can I have water?" And she just looks at me with those cold, blue Aryan <laughs> eyes and said, "No." So I get okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, by the way, I still have my mask on, so I'm like reventilating my own fumes. I can barely breathe. Um, and then the last half of the drive was cobblestone road, which was quite a challenge on me and my <laughs> asshole. So I'm getting shaken around. It starts hurting like mad. We finally arrive and I think, okay, salvation is near, right? No. They take me out. We waddle through the emergency door room, uh, door. Um, they say, wait here. They bring me one of those, um, wheelchairs and they say, sit down, sir. And then I just fucking sit there for like five minutes while they do paperwork, while I'm hunched over, (laughs) fucking convulsing. And then finally, one of the nurses came and she grabbed the chair and started like uh, rolling me. And I thought, finally, I'm going to get help. Like, give me something help. But no, they wheeled me to another section to fill out paperwork. (laughs) And so I'm sitting there. I'm literally shaking, like sweating. I'm like, ah, like... I'm fucking miserable and suffering. She's like, so who's your emergency contact? Uh Uh-huh. And what's her phone number? It's 62 or 61. Oh, okay. You Mm -hmm. were lucid enough to respond to these questions? Barely. I was like, what? I don't know. At some point, I just handed her my phone to look at phone numbers. Your sister went with you, right? No. No, she didn't. Because I told her not to, which I now realize was a fucking mistake. Yeah, you could have had her go and filled all this out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I realize that, but f- but what happens in know. actual emergency situation? Well, not that this wasn't an emergency situation, but like, surely they can't do that to everyone. Uh, so I remember mm-hmm. one time a while back, like 2016, I thought I was having a heart attack because my chest was just on fire. <laughs> I, I couldn't breathe. So Tiana rushed me to the emergency room. I ended up sitting in the waiting room for six hours and then it just went away on its own. <laughs> So I don't it's know ridiculous. what they do in the emergency w- situation. They probably just let people die, or so that would be my. It really sounds like whatever know, they man. were doing worked for you. you it, it's not even as if it's not even as if they were like packed or anything. The emergency room was barren. It was empty. There was like Same. Me, I've seen I've seen maybe two other patients that day. Uh, so anyway, I, I finally fucking I think she realized that I wasn't capable of like consenting to shit. Right. Because she had said that I need to sign something, but then she didn't make me sign anything. She just started rolling me into the one of the rooms there. So now I'm finally on uh, not a stretcher, but whatever it's called, like one of those little beds. I can't lie down, but OK, two nurses come in and finally I get some like attention. Right. They, they put a little blanket on me like that's going to fucking help. <laughs> um, they finally put a fucking needle in me and they say, OK, we're going to give you painkillers and we're going to give you something for the nausea. 
I don't know if I thanked them or anything. And then it was just a fucking blur, right? It was a blur. I'm in pain. They left the room. They said, we'll be right back. I'm in so much fucking pain that, again, I can't lie down. I had to sit up. But if I sit up, I feel like I'm about to vomit. And they give you a little pouch to vomit into if you have to. So the painkiller isn't doing shit. I don't know if they gave me a fucking placebo. I don't know if they thought I was drug seeking or some shit. If they didn't believe me. They, oh, by the way, they, they do all this whole shit. I never knew this. But when you are dealing with these people, every single one of them will ask you the exact same questions like 10 fucking times. So what was the last meal you had? Mm -hmm. Do you have any allergies? Have you used any drugs? Any alcohol? Any amphetamines? Like, No. I just have to take a massive shit. Like, I can't take a shit. I'm not lying about anything. I'm just in pain. I, I can see why some of those questions would be relevant, well, especially it's, it's with not only, they are, they are. It's not only to I make sure that, you're but, not lying. It's also to make sure they have the right patient and they're not screwing anything up. Because if you I go know. to a hospital and you need one specific medication, they don't want to give you a different one because they didn't ask the right questions over and over. I know it's just annoying because that day I dealt with maybe 12 nurses all in all and like two doctors and all of them like, do you have any allergies? Like, n n ask her next door man there. She's standing right next to you. She asked me the same thing. So ask her. Mm -hmm. No, I don't do amphetamines or weed. For fuck's sake. I'm not drunk. No, I didn't have an accident. Just help. Dig it out of me or something. Anyway, they leave the room, so now I'm delirious. I don't know what the time is at this point, right? I, I have no idea how long it's been. It could yeah. be 8 a.m., 9 a.m. <laughs> I get up to get a glass of water, because at this point still no one has given me a fucking glass of water, and there's a sink in the room, and there's plastic cups, so I'm, I'm just hell-bent. I need water. So I get up, and you guys, I'll be honest to God, I, I was wearing brown shorts, right? I start leaking <laughs> Thank shit. Thank God. <laughs> I start leaking shit. What? <laughs> I, st I think the liquid shit started pressing its way around the nuggets. And so it started oh. dribbling out of me. And so I went, oh, fuck. And so I start walking out of the room in order to seek a bathroom. And it's, it continues leaking. And I think this is it. That's curtains. Like, uh, this is your, this is, that's your comeuppance, Kaya. This is what you get. Like, you're, you just spent five years on the internet shit talking people. This is what you get. You're, you're about to shit yourself in public in front of a bunch of young women nurses. That's what you, you fucking get. That's what you deserve, right? <laughs> shit leaking out of your pants in the hallway. Yeah. That'd just the, the way he so, expected to go. Yeah. I, I'm waddling. I'm delirious. I feel sick. I'm woozy. I'm disoriented. And I'm holding the, whatever it's called, the thing where they hang the bags, the like the banana the bag IV. on it. That little, yeah, whatever they, they hang the IV on, that little coat hanger. I, I'm carrying mm -hmm. it in one hand, like dragging it with me, <laughs> just stumbling, looking for a toilet. And one of the nurses, she, I guess, recognized that I'm like out of place and lost. She was like, what are you doing? I said, uh, 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 a toilet trying to hold the shit in right so she sh shows me a toilet which thankfully was at a somewhat isolated s section of the hospital so i go in i sit down i push and i don't know if it was all the movements up until this point or the cobblestone and that but that nugget finally gave oh and it God. exploded out of me splashing down and splashing all the fucking water up against my balls too and i don't know why <laughs> this happens this happened once before but when I take these emergency shits, after, finally, I, I have like World War II footage flash in front of my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I'm blasting this shit out. And then at split seconds, I'm seeing like howitzers firing. <laughs> but all of a sudden, I'm shaking still, but all of a sudden, the relief, yeah. the relief that washed over me, you guys, I found salvation. <laughs> I felt so fucking good. And this, I had to shit so fucking much, too. I should, how, and I just sat there for 10 minutes, just contemplating. How, how scared were you going into that toilet, though? Like, I would have been Very. terrified being that constipated, going to that toilet Very. for that one final last push. It probably, like, the odds are that it would have killed you. Otherwise, either that shit's coming out or it's killing you, basically. Well, no place to have your bowels ruptured than a hospital, I guess, right? I mean, if it's going to yeah, happen, true. I'd rather be in the hospital to have that emergency <laughs> than in my... Uh, own bathroom but then again how would I even call for help like if I pass out oh, with like shit with like shit bubbling out of my mouth yeah, how do I even call for help they're not gonna right? find you for another three days probably with all the paperwork <laughs> they're doing <laughs> right so I shit and um 
after a few minutes of just trying to gather myself and slowly regaining my consciousness, I looked to my side mm-hmm. uh, to see the toilet paper, and of course, it's fucking single ply. Of oh, course, oh, no. yeah. Ouch. yeah, yeah. Oh fuck! That's where your taxpayers' money is going. Christ. I have shit water all over my ass and balls, and there's just so much shit to clean. Uh, on the bright side, though, I didn't leak any shit into my underwear. Like, I checked. Whatever I leaked must have been not a lot, thankfully. Like, I did not chart. Or it might have been, like, clear, f- clear fluid or something. Yeah, mucusy, maybe. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I wipe, finally. I, I had to flush, like, three or four times. I wipe, and I wash my hands with the alcohol solution shit. I waddle back into the, whatever you call the patient room, I guess. I lie back down. Um, At this point, nobody knows, right, that I've just been freed of my affliction. So now I'm thinking, how am I going to explain to these people that I just took a joyride to the hospital to take a shit? (laughs) (laughs) That is a good question. (laughs) At that point, you have to pretend to still be injured. Yeah. How... How do I explain to them that I was in genuine fear for my health, but it turned out to be just a poop? <laughs> I'm thoroughly embarrassed, so I decided I should, like, okay, I'm not going to tell them that I feel way better now. I'm going to tell them I feel a little better now, but, like, and to be fair, I did still feel really, really sick. So the nurse, uh, not the nurse, sorry, now the doctor comes in the room. And she's like, she looks younger than I am, and she looks, you know, kind of cute. So now I'm extra embarrassed. She tells me to lie down. Um, she was going to do an, what, what is it called? The ultrasonic thing where they ultrasound. rub lotion on your belly. Ultrasound, ultrasound yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's going to do that. And she starts doing small <laughs> talk. And I'm like, oh, no, I see where this is going. She's like, what do you do for a living? I go, oh, oh, no. Because I hate being that douche. Like, I have a podcast. I'm a podcaster. Like, oh, no, don't make me say it. So. <laughs> oh, she's she, ultrasounding she keeps, your stomach for shit. <laughs> while, while, while she's literally, like, pushing the ultrasound thing dr- dr- down into my groin to check my prostate. He's like, so what do you do? I go, I, I work on the internet, which is my go-to, mm-hmm, like, furtive, yeah. you know, uh, escape from it. So she says, well, what do you do exactly? So I go, damn it. I have a show on the internet. She goes, oh, that's fascinating. What's it about? Well, (laughs) funny you should ask. It's actually about just this sort of shit. (laughs) And then the worst. I'm here doing research for my next story on the show. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a method actor. So, and then then came the worst question, you guys. She asked me what my show is called. Oh, so she could be listening right now. Oh, For a moment, I thought... I thought maybe I should throw another show under the bus. Just tell her I'm on the Misfits or something. Fuck them. Oh, the H3 <laughs> but, podcast, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I couldn't lie for some reason. Um, so I said, the no, official podcast. You actually I told her? So. She might be listening, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. That'd be so sweet if she was. Imagine she's yeah. listening right now with a smile on her face. Oh, knowing God. that she saved a young man's life and he went on to continue podcasting. I, I, hope, I, I, I hope she's not offended if I'm getting minor details wrong. Again, I was very delirious. Um, she does the, you know, she Kai, my now, tummy and wait, asks me now that. She, now, she knows, now she knows that you find her cute. <gasps> oh, oh, God. Ooh. Budding romance. Ooh. Quick, Kaya, cut to an ad so that you can distract yourself from that embarrassment. What oh. ad would that be? Oh, don't worry, I'll do Actually, it. Actually, I might need <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't. I shat the bed on that one. Yeah, yeah. You don't shit the bed, and don't shit this bed, because it's a <laughs> helix bed. A helix mattress, if you will. And let me tell you something. It is one of the most comfortable and high-quality mattresses I have ever slept on. A lot of you out there listening probably fall asleep to this podcast, and I know that's true because a lot of people tell me that they do. First of all, rude, we're talking. But second of all, I hope that when you're falling asleep, it is on a Helix mattress. It is, in fact, a mattress that you can get by taking a quiz. I know a lot of you don't like quizzes, but let me tell you something about this quiz. It takes just two minutes to complete, and its questions are to match your body type and sleep preferences to your perfect mattress. I mean, if you're looking for a mattress and you take that quiz, well, then you can order it, and it will be shipped to your door for free. 
You'll never need to go to a mattress store again. You don't even need to listen to me. You can plug your ears during this part and go blah, 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 because you can read the fact that Helix was voted number one best overall mattress by GQ and Wired Magazine. All you have to do now is go to helixsleep.com slash official, take that two minute quiz and match, your, match yourself to the customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows by going to helixsleep.com slash official. If you have to go to the hospital because you've got to really poop real bad, you might want to sleep that experience off on a Helix mattress, getting $200 off and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash official. Thank you, Helix. Mm -hmm. Nice. Go ahead. Didn't mean uh, to interrupt. But I had to, you know. Where was I? No hard feelings. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about cute anyway, she leaves the room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, I mean, at this point, it's like over. I can tell. But I mm -hmm. felt another shit coming, right? Again. And I'm like, oh God, God damn it. Like, will this day never end? I'm suffered enough. I've been in so much pain for hours. I get up again. I waddle towards the toilet. And then one of the... Ja I think she was a janitor. I don't think she was a nurse. She comes at me very aggressively, but like... You know that, like, uh, motherly aggressiveness? Like, what do you think you're doing, young man? That sort of, like, where are you going? Are we going home? I went, no, I was just looking for the toilet. Well, then just ask. We can't have you walking around, you know, aimlessly, because then everybody will start walking around. I'm like, okay, I just want to <laughs> take a shit. <laughs> and the reason is, I, I, I knew where the toilet is because I was already on that toilet. I, I've been there, but when I went to go there... I noticed that now the room was full where the oh. toilet was and I didn't want to loudly shit because I'm a very, like, I get easily embarrassed. I don't like shitting loudly if other people mm -hmm. might be listening. And I saw that they just had this old, gen like, this old man in a hospital bed, hospitalized. I don't know if it was COVID or what, but I, I just couldn't square that with myself. Like, I don't want that man dying, like, listening to my shitting. That's just inhumane. That's cr cruel and unusual. But uh, yeah, janitor lady dragged me to that toilet again. I went in, uh, slowly dribbled some more shit nuggets out like a rabbit, uh, wiped again <laughs> for about five minutes because it's fucking single ply. Jesus Christ, is this... Don't they like, have, I pay so much in health showers? insurance. You should have stole one of the hospital towels and taken don't that in there. Don't they have showers, Jackson? It's a hospital, not like a like a yeah. resort. What, our, what? Hospitals, our hospitals, our hospitals have, have showers. showers. Of course there's, of course there's yeah. like showers, but you can't just leisurely go take a shower at the hospital. If you're a patient, <laughs> if they're a nice hospital. <laughs> yes, what? but it's, it's yeah. what, like... But Jackson, it wasn't like an emergency... <laughs> yeah, yeah, what am I going to tell them? <laughs> Like, hey, you guys, I don't feel comfortable. I'm kind of like a germaphobe. <laughs> can I can I wash the shit off the out of the wrinkles of my balls? Can I shit in your shower and stop it down the drain? It's <laughs> the only way I can go. So I waddle, I waddle yet again back to the room after I take my shit. I lie back down, and the, the shaking thankfully has stopped. I feel way more comfortable now. Uh, now the doctor comes back, and she brought back up. An older doctor lady, like the boss doctor lady, and I realize, oh, this is one of those teaching hospitals, isn't it? Oh, fuck, come <laughs> on. Like, she's, she starts ultrasounding me again because she said, okay, I'm going to do it myself. I want to take a look myself. And then she starts a fucking lesson. Like, I'm just a, <laughs> a teaching subject. Like, she's going over my prostate and my lower abdomen and shit. And she's, like, teaching the younger one. Like, oh, so you see, here you see the cross section. And when you press this button, you get a layer down on the abdominal lining. And here's how you really do it. And then you have to click this button in this order to perform the operate. Like, I'm right here. Can we... Can we hurry this up? The shit has left the bowel. You're, you're ultrasounding for a baby that's been aborted. Let, let me go. <laughs> At this point, I just want to leave, right? So I'm thinking, how can I tell them I'm fine now? I want to leave, and I want this fucking needle out of my arm, too, because I'm pretty sure it's making me dizzy. <laughs> Your fucking pain medication. I don't need it anymore. Um, but they, so they're, they're not treating me, you, though. They're not doing it. They're, they're, they're not, not actually like, giving you any treatment. <laughs> they haven't done anything. They have they're not just done a you fucking like an experiment. Thing. Besides giving me pain medication, I guess, thank you. But even then, that didn't really help. I was still in pain. The only thing that relieved it was... Um, 
the fucking sh- oh i completely forgot like a major part of the story they treated me like uh, like i was detoxing on alcohol by the way so one of those questions that they ke- constantly kept asking is uh you know just like do you have allergies they kept asking when was your last drink how often do you drink have you ever felt the need to drink in the morning i was like yeah right now like I, i'm popping champagne when i get home are you fucking kidding me but so i asked the younger doctor I said, how come they keep asking me that? And she said, well, so you're shaking and you're cold sweating. Usually that's a symptom of somebody who has a severe alcohol dependency. And when you go for a few hours without alcohol, you detox like that. That's what it looks like. You shake a lot and you uh, cold sweat. And I went, oh, that's why they all keep asking. And I don't know why I didn't have the thought of mind to say it at the time, probably because I was still delirious, but like, I don't know, doctor lady, if you're listening now, like, did you not notice that the shaking and sweating immediately stopped once I came out of the toilet? I don't think that's how <laughs> detoxing works. To, to be fair, I'm not a doctor. But what do you think happens? You shed do you think out I your stole alcohol some dependency. <laughs> they probably thought you I were know, did, shooting up in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah did I steal, like, rubbing alcohol and a syringe and shoot myself up in the bathroom? And chugged it in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, I was like, I was thinking, okay, fair enough. I guess that is what detoxing yeah, from drugs looks sense. like but like it stopped i was fine i was lucid after i took that shit i was like can you please stop judging me and they say that too by the way we're not judge we're not here to judge you and you can just read it off their face what a bunch of horse shit that is that you are absolutely judging me shut the hell up <laughs> in all due respects yeah, ma'am they, they you are s- judging me like- i can feel it they see like a hundred patients every hour, even uh, if yeah. they were judging you. It's like so, it's so insignificant. Yeah, they probably forget I don't about it almost for instantly. It. Not yeah. to mention, I would assume that when like people with my symptoms come in, nine out of ten of them probably are detoxing from fucking heroin or something. So fair enough. Yeah. I don't judge them for that. It's just like, you know, whatever. At, at the time, I guess I was a little pissed off at that uh, because I was genuinely just, I was awful. Uh, my stomach felt awful. Anyway, now we've moved on to the stage of I want to go home. I'm telling them I want to go home. They're telling me I need to fill out paperwork. Uh, they're giving me... <laughs> the nurse came in, the one from the reception, who didn't make me sign anything. She came back because I guess she realized now it's okay. And she's like making me sign this paperwork that says they may operate on me and they may physically help Holy me shit. like after they've already fucking shoved needles into me. And then this is very cute about socialized healthcare, by the way. She made me sign a page that said that if I was to be hospitalized overnight, I would have to pay a 10 euro overnight fee. Like, that's cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, whatever. How unfortunate. Holy <laughs> fuck. Bro, the difference in the... Oh my god. When I, I stayed at the hospital for three days, it cost $180,000 just what to stay overnight fuck? for three days. What? Holy yeah, shit. Did you have to when, pay that or... It came Did from insurance, but we had to pay some of that, of course. Holy. Yeah. It was when I had the lung thing back in high school. I saw I was hospitalized for three days one of those times. It happened three times, but the one, day, one, one of the times I had three days there, 180 grand just for the stay, just for the room. And they didn't even have showers? No. <laughs> no I mean, they, did, they had showers on the premises, of course, but I couldn't... Jackson, it's not like it's like a fucking summer camp where I can just go take a shower when I want to. It needed to be like expressly <laughs> permitted. The, the hospitals to... I've been to have like showers in every room. Uh, excuse me, where's the rec room? <laughs> well, okay. Well, Jackson, you're you're thinking about a longer stay hospital. What I was in was a emergency was three room, days. like literally. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Um, so the thing is about socialized healthcare. It doesn't. It's not as useful for somebody like me because at the end of the day, I pay a shit ton every month, right? It's not like it's free for me. But I do like, obviously, that, you know, somebody who's not as well off, somebody who's unlucky and maybe poor, you know, she, even if she doesn't have insurance, she can still go uh, to the emergency room to take a shit, I guess. And all she has to pay is 10 bucks because it's subsidized by most other people. So I I get that. That's nice. But anyway, I just want to I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. But they're babbling me. They're just talking at me and talking and talking and telling me that they, I mean, need to wait a little more and I need to sign more stuff. I'm like, damn it. And I have no reception, by the way, because I realized that day I had forgotten to uh, renew my data, whatever it's called, to fill up my data quota, I guess, on my phone. So I can't even browse on my phone or anything. A nurse finally comes in. She's like, yeah, you can go home. Uh, we just need you to sign some stuff. And she leaves, and I'm waiting to sign some stuff. 
another nurse comes in and she says, apparently she was unaware of what the other nurse had said. She says, you can go home. I took that excuse, you guys. I just walked out. <laughs> I, re- I didn't sign shit. I didn't tell anybody. I just walked out. I grabbed a cab and I went home. <sighs> so, you guys think the story ends there, don't you? I thought, oh like, was, was there, like, a shit <laughs> goblin waiting at your house again or something to, like, inject yeah. shit in your butthole? Did the shit come to life and, like, jump out of your toilet to attack you then? Five years of comeuppance just went, not even five, just, like, 30 years of me crawling <laughs> on this earth, like, as a demon baby, I guess, has, have come back to haunt me that day. I come back home, and I guess I actually had a stomach bug or something that caused this, because I had to shit throughout the day. And it was never anything of substance. It was like charts. But I would have to run to the toilet like literally every 20 minutes. I think I shat like 80 times that day. And my asshole started getting so sore that I would like again start shaking from the pain, just wiping this time. It oh, was so yeah. much pain. God damn. And it's it does sound like alcohol detoxing. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, classic <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> yeah, busted asshole. <laughs> so it's now nighttime, and I found the only thing that started helping a little bit was putting a hot water bottle against my lower stomach. Well, area, do you, you, do you think that like wearing the, MeUndies would help a little bit? <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my MeUndies, man. That's yeah. not, let's not go yeah, there. that's disrespectful. No, no one <laughs> yeah. would ever shit their pants wearing MeUndies because they are some of the softest and most comfortable underwear the four of us have ever worn. I mean... MeUndies are designed to be one of the softest things on the planet. Uh, they've got micro modal fabric that literally grows from trees, making their undies not only super soft, but super sustainable. They offer different cuts because they just get it. We're different people with different butts. You can check out their undies, socks, bralettes, <laughs> loungewear, and more, ranging from sizes extra small to extra large. Or sorry, extra small to four extra large they they've even got big boys covered and i know that everyone out there listening ladies i know many of you out there are smitten and swooned by us handsome men but you're saying oh boy they're talking about their goddamn boxer shorts getting under not true my girlfriend just yesterday got a new pair of me undies they had tiny little pigeons on them so ladies Aww. out there listening also plenty of underwear options for you you don't have to be a big, strong man, or maybe you want to wear men's underwear. It doesn't matter. Whatever kind of underwear you want to wear, they've got a pair. You can get 15% off of your first order with free shipping and a 100% satisfaction guarantee by going to MeUndies.com slash official. That's MeUndies.com slash official. You can also return them. Absolutely no garbage paperwork overhead involved. Just return or exchange them if you are not satisfied. But you will be if you go to MeUndies.com slash official. All four official boys wear and love MeUndies. And we do. We have a ton of them. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kai, I continue. I'm sorry, I didn't know the story would take so long. No, it's um, fine. Yeah, I, I think this is the first time that a story has taken up the entire, like, entire episode. If the first time in a long time. If the when story, we were first yeah. getting to know each other, we had all of these. If this story takes the entire episode, I will consider this a good episode. <laughs> Keep going. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad my suffering created content. That was my only, <laughs> like, <laughs> I sought solace in the fact that, well, at least this is going to be funny. Um, as I was saying, though, I, I was taking a shit like every 20 minutes. I couldn't lie. To, I couldn't sleep. Right. Because how can I sleep when every 20 minutes I'm like woken up by this by almost shitting myself? Um, eventually, I figured out that heat kind of works to uh, worked to make me feel a little better. So I made a heated uh, a w- hot water bottle. I grabbed my heated blanket. I turned up the radiator and I swear I turned my bedroom into like a makeshift sauna and I was finally able to like sleep for one or two hour segments i still had to shit in between but i you know it wasn't every 20 minutes anymore so that was that um yeah and i woke up the next morning and i finally felt a little better my asshole was still very sore so still is a little bit let me let me ask you this now in total sincerity do you think that you have a medical condition or physiological problem because your shits have been painful in the past (laughs) and they take forever and and like no, you also say that the, they're impossible to clean and everything. No, they're not impossible to clean. They're just kind of tedious. They 
well, maybe, I don't know. The difference is, though, in the past, it was because I was just stubborn, right? I was like out and about at the airport traveling and I just refused to take a shit. That was the problem. Mm hmm. I was holding it in voluntarily. That's why I had to cope yeah, with I the pain in the past. This was different. This was, I was at the home. I was completely willing to take a shit right then and there, but I couldn't. This was the first time in my life I was constipated and I wouldn't wish, wish it on my worst enemy. That was horrible. And like I said, it was genuinely the worst pain I had in, I've been in in my whole life. And I was in it for hours and I changed my, it did kind of change my outlook on life because it really drove home the, <laughs> You know, just how fragile our bodies are, I guess. And I'm like getting old and this this is not sustainable. This is... But you, you guys know that feeling though when you're like really sick and all of a sudden the only thing that you value in life was, is like, I just want to be healthy again. I want to feel like I felt yesterday. I didn't know what I had. Yeah. Right? That really, it drove that home like nothing else in my life. That whole ordeal. So um, I'm going to be healthier now. Uh, no more... No more heart liquor, no more pizza on weekdays. I'm, I'm going to try to take better care of myself, I suppose. Nice. How long do you think you're going to actually stick to that? Oh, Jackson, I, I don't know. I, all I can tell you is that I will give it my earnest try because I've been scared straight. Every time, I, I want you to think about that shit every time you bring a pizza up to your mouth <laughs> or, or I go do. for the whiskey or something. I want you to think I about that pain that you lived through. My friend, it's been a week now, or like six days, I guess, technically. And I'm still, with every bite, I still get that little bit of fear, like, oh, fuck, what if I can't shit again? Should I really, do you really <laughs> want to gamble here, Kai? Do you really want to go for that extra bite? Um, I'm trying, I'm trying. So that's my... You should inv you should invest in a, a like, wide array of laxatives and stuff. Like, stool really softeners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The ones, no, yeah, yeah but I don't know does, how you that... You seriously should... I don't know how that would have helped in that moment, though, because it was one solid nugget that was already at, like at the mouth of my asshole that was holding everything else back. Like you can't soften something that's already there in your ass, right? You could have like Is this if you had a bidet, you could have like chipped away at it like a pressure washer, <laughs> plastered your asshole. Yeah. Oh, I I say go the Charlie, excavator I tried. route. Just plow stuff in there Trust and try me. to scoop it out. Okay, I may or may not have put on a latex glove and tried it didn't work with the glove you can't feel what you're doing you got to go barehanded get the texture yeah oh do you i need to get it under my fingernails yeah. to grab it scrape it get like a bunch of burly men to grab it and pull it out like a tug of war they should no, invent a tool where it's like a tiny little hooked apparatus and you shove it up your ass ah. and it just scoops the poop out you're insane Ew. it's handy no. What you gotta do is you gotta put an egg beater up there and just mash it around. Ah, just really yes. like mash it into a fine paste. Much better. And it'll just come out. Yeah. Women uh, women don't have this issue though. They can just reach into their into their vaginas and push Yeah, it they down. have a speed I've run shit that I read about that. Yeah, you can like go into your pussy and push the back wall and just kind of like I don't know, kind of yeah. like a hose, just kind of squeeze it out. Good for yeah, that. It's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, that's nice. I'm jealous. We don't get to do anything with that dicks. Yeah. Uh, no, my dick was entirely useless. We get to piss up. That's cool. Pissing up's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Into our faces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does feel pretty what glorious when you have an erection and you like piss up in like the bathroom or something in the shower. That, that's the most frustrating feeling ever. Oh, I hate, yeah, that, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to piss with a boner. It's the worst feeling. I, 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 I genuinely, like, when I have morning wood, I go to the toilet every morning, and I just stand there for five minutes flicking my nuts, waiting for my, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for my cock to soften. Have you it's ever, the most annoying thing. Have you ever had that, like, strange erection where it's just, it's just there in that weird spot and you do have to piss? So when you go to piss, you sit on the toilet at, like, this 45-degree perpendicular angle to try to make sure your dick doesn't fly out of the toilet bowl yeah. and piss on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, I fucking hate that. It happens to me pretty often. I, it, yeah, I can't, I can't sit down when I've got, like, an erection or anything. Or, like, because I'm just, it, it would, like, bend underneath the toilet bowl, and I don't want to touch the toilet bowl with my, with my dick. <laughs> it would be yeah. awful. Would you like a I secret tip, Jackson? Shower. 
What's that? Would you like a secret tip that actually helps and works? I would. I love If tips. you are sitting on the toilet and you want a boner to go away, flex your thighs. It will divert the blood oh. flow and help it go away quicker. I thought that was an ad. <laughs> like an no. ad. Uh, <laughs> no, that's <laughs> a real thing I read a while ago and I, I do it and it helps. Thank you for the tip. Yeah. I appreciate Makes that. Makes it easier to piss. What, so you just... Fl you flex your what? Just your squeeze thighs, your squeeze yeah. your leg muscles. Yeah. Can just like so, walk oh, out your knees. What, what if you <laughs> so have the opposite problem though, Kegels. Andrew, and you're trying to get an erection? Oh, mm. that was that was good. Well, if you do have the opposite problem and you're trying to get an erection, well, perhaps you could consider Rex MD. I mean, let me ask you a question. Should Viagra really cost $90? Don't answer that because okay. you know that's not right. Because in in fucking America, our we were just talking about it. Medical stuff, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how expensive so many fucking meds and services are. So that's why RexMD.com has FDA approved generic Viagra starting at just two dollars per tablet and being delivered discreetly to your door. All you have to do is fill out a brief survey, and if it's appropriate, you can try a starter pack of generic Viagra. They are currently available to new customers, and RexMD.com has helped over 100,000 men get generic Viagra from the comfort of their home. There's no copay, no doctor visit, and your shipping is always free. If you're looking for generic Viagra, RexMD has made the process fast, easy, and affordable. In other words, it has made it the opposite of the American healthcare system. Don't wait <laughs> another minute. RexMD is now offering starter packs of generic Viagra to new customers. Visit RexMD.com official to get started right now. If you think it's appropriate for your body, you can go ahead and take that survey, figure out if it's something that you need, and if you do, you can get it from RexMD. RexMDER. Sorry, R-E-X-M-D dot com slash official. Thank you, Rex. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any shame at all in taking Viagra. I think it's really dumb to shame people who... There's who, no shame. You know, if, you, if you need it, there's no shame at all. Well, yeah, yeah, why, why would you be ashamed of that? People, people it's medicine. Are. People, no. We, we, am, we yeah. invented a way to fuck Mother Nature. Fuck you. If somebody can't get a boner, let them get a boner. Yeah, we've invented yeah, I've millions this. of ways to say fuck Mother Nature. Like ibuprofen <laughs> is us saying fuck Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah. Do whatever. Oh, well, so that's my story, you guys. The worst shit of my that life. Was a great story. That was a I wish it was that longer. Was nice. I loved it. Can we, uh, Jackson, can, we, can I just, like, put the limelight on you finally? Can we laugh at some hey. Taliban witches? please yeah so have you guys <laughs> thank you obviously very sad situation first of all what's happening in in afghanistan not making light of that at all it's an awful situation i think that is pretty obvious but thank god that the witches on reddit are there for us oh, because they back. have started a campaign you bet baby they've started a campaign to take on the taliban oh. <laughs> there's a new subreddit that's been formed called r slash bewitch the taliban now now and hang on some of these posts boys hang on oh, before man, before perfect. you read any of them i'm going to guess not a single one of them has decided to actually go to afghanistan are you oh, kidding no. me? What the fuck? Uh, what would you, yeah, that, that's, I, I that's don't know. Cool. Why would you tell you they didn't do that? Wow. Huh. Why would they? I, I don't know. It's, hey, it no sounds like they want to do anything remotely helpful or impactful against the Taliban. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. Not even going to where it is? or uh, Let me guess. None of them are donating money or resources either or their time. They're donating their spiritual prowess. Ah, what do you get about that's that? Even, their energies. That's even better oh. and more effective. You're right. What is it? Bewitch? So, the Taliban or bewitch yeah, Taliban? I, bewitch I the Taliban. Okay. I, wa I do want to clarify that I found these posts like maybe, uh, I think it was like a week ago, maybe, you know, five, six days ago. By now, I think the greater internet has come across it and they're kind of like posting shitty oh. um, threads onto that subreddit. So it might be hard to put, mm. uh, find genuine posts now. But I have found some of the original ones and I'm going to <laughs> screen share for the discord over at our Patreon discord. Oh, oh that's oh, fancy. Oh. That's a first. I have to shit Close so fucking tabs. bad. I think the witches are hexing my butthole. Can you give me just <laughs> one second? I'm going to speed run it.
<laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. We, we, can wait. we can stall. All right, so... Yeah, so there are people on Reddit currently, witches on Reddit currently, fighting the Taliban. And this is one <laughs> of the images I found. It's great. Kai, do you want to read it out? Why do I have to do all the talking today? You're, you're a no, good reader. No, this is your you're thing. You're a good reader. No, Jackson, this right. is your thing. Yeah, this is your thing, right, so this, And give him a funny voice don't, don't like a bedtime now. story. I'm not, I'm not voice acting. All right, so do not face Allah, Allah alone when astral projecting. Today, while astral projecting, I summoned Allah to try and weaken him so our hexing spells would work better. He is so fucking powerful. I'm not at a power <laughs> level to do this alone. I barely escape with my life and I'm spiritually injured to a great amount, but I think I'll make it. I can't imagine what he would do to a new unsuspecting witch. I'm scared that I will have to face him again soon if I ever want to continue astral projecting projecting i'm currently burning healing incense and drawing spiritual energy from my crystals to try and heal as quickly as possible please be safe everyone allah is much stronger than i first imagined and we will have to do this together if we want to slay a god All right pretty cool final <laughs> uh, sentence to be honest yeah i pretty don't think cool. this is real though jackson the account name is called dumbest bitch yeah, but a lot of these witches have usernames yeah, like that. Yeah, well, they, Charlie's like Reddit's a Tumblr username. Char bitch. Charlie, it has to be real because it's a single Redditor thinking that if they could actually fight a god, they would win. That's Redditor well, that in a nutshell. That is, that's pretty Reddit. Yeah. Kai and I were having this conversation before, like trying to decide whether or not these are real or not, but we, we came to the conclusion that the fact that we can't tell or, or where, like, it could go either way. It's just, it's it's funny enough as it is. It's entertaining yeah. enough either way. <laughs> so it's either really I, good satire or or it's legitimate. Both I have no pretty, trouble believing that it's good. real. Yeah. Like, I could believe that it's real for sure. Well, where's your major hang-up, Charlie? Just the username? Because that's, like, a pretty typical Tumblr yeah, username. Yeah, but it just also seems, like, if, like remember when the, the witches were freaking out about hexing the moon and the fae? They never said things like they were fighting or engaged in a fight. They're just like, they used a special incense to hex the moon, which is draining our power. Well, that's this because the moon is an object. Yeah, you can't fight an object. I suppose, Allah is, yeah. a, is a being that you combat. Yeah. It makes just sense to me. He's a being well, who is so just fucking powerful. This is real. Yeah, let's do, yeah, let's, don't be a stick in the mud, Charlie. I want to pretend that, I want to believe this is real. <laughs> this I'm is fine fun. with believing it's real. Yeah. Um, so, so why go after <laughs> go after a god initially? <laughs> Don't you want to build up to that? And how how does taking out Allah like combat the Taliban directly? Yeah, why why don't you go uh, for the Taliban? Like you're starting way up high the chain of command, are you not? I'm absolutely fascinated to know if the Taliban would know. So imagine your dumbest bitch or anyone on Reddit and you do you do your astral projection <laughs> fucking like camp kumbaya circle. And let's say you even do it with some fellow Redditors and you do it together. And all of you unanimously agree that in your little fucking day trip, you kill the law. You beat him. You fought him back with your spiritual power. Do you think any of the Taliban would have any remote idea that happened or know or acknowledge it? At all, they all just start. They all just it, start fading from existence. Would it be like the Force in Star no, Wars, where they'd be like, "Oh my God, I sense yeah. a horrible disturbance. A lost voice has suddenly <laughs> been silenced." The Americans are at it again. The Reddit threat is finally here. It's like, um, was it one of the UN people who like gave a speech asking the Taliban to be diverse and inclusive, <laughs> give women <laughs> rights? <laughs> That'll what? work. What's what is the effect that they're hoping to achieve by hexing? Like, what what does that actually do? Does it just give the Taliban bad luck? Does it like give them negative stat distributions or penalties? Like, they get minus ten aim or something? Like, what what, what, what actually happens? Them? I don't know. <laughs> bad luck, I guess. It's got to be bad luck, right? It's but not like, working. Whatever warlocks they have on the Taliban, I mean, th those guys seem to be way more powerful with their curses and hexes. Those guys overran the country on like two days flat. <laughs> They're way Actually, too powerful. Actually, you know what? The people that might take this the most seriously, apart from the witches themselves, are prob is probably like the Taliban. Maybe they do believe in like spirituality to this degree, and maybe they have their own... Like they've put together their own crack force of witches and wizards over there <laughs> to <laughs> combat oh. this. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like a battle in the at the end of a uh, Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any others? <laughs> yeah, why are we watching the stream Jackson? Here. Was it just that? I've got, okay. got more stuff. Okay. So this one's PSA: Be careful when bewitching the Taliban. Greetings. Gre- this is the one that I thought maybe was the most fake. Greetings, fellow practitioners of magic. Spelled with a K. As you're all aware, <laughs> Afghanistan is in a very dire situation, and many of us are preparing rituals and performing incantations to help alleviate the human suffering that is occurring there. The Taliban, as horrible as they have shown themselves to be, are very spiritually aware, and they routine- routinely take steps to dispel, ward off, and weaken magic. They have incantations and rituals of their own, which can, at the very least, neutralize us. <laughs> at worst, <laughs> at worst, can cause damage to our spiritual selves, perhaps through some sort of hex blowback so they did answer the question for me really that they are taking the taliban as a serious spiritual threat and i think that's very responsible of these witches yeah they didn't underestimate them people yeah witches are underappreciated as uh, the last line of defense against the demons and um face pixies no (laughs) what no phase of fairies weren't phase good i I don't know Depends. No, they're bad. It depends. Oh, it depends. So phase is just like like they they they're the humans. They have like different no what? moralities the and fae stuff is, themselves. They're fairies. Yeah, but yeah, I'm but saying they... like it's a race of people or I, I don't know race of species that have different morals themselves. Like there's different orders of phase. Yeah. Hey That's Jackson. Like yeah. So there's bad okay. phase and there's a good. Phase. Hey Jackson, why do you have two versions of OBS open? Because oh, uh, I'm using one to record my webcam and the other to record this this uh, browser. Oh, boy. Wouldn't it have just been easier to send Danny the links? Yeah. Uh, potentially. No, don't call it stupid. Oh, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking coward. <laughs> Can you run a scan of malware bytes while you're at it? Your computer might be dirty. <laughs> This is this is why we do it. This is fun. Also, Jackson, why you, does it say you, English next to your timer? Does your computer have to remind you what language you speak? Why does it say that? It says ing. Jeez, are we just roasting Jackson now? Yeah, because his computer's oh, a right, mess and I hate it. No, it's normal. It, it, it's perfect for me. Mm. It hasn't been bewitched Okay, yet. whatever you say, man, any whose closing, date is backwards. Any closing comments on, on the witches? Do we have any final thoughts? <clears throat> is that all you had from the witches? Well, that's all there is. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God, Jackson. Jesus Christ. What are you up? You bring a topic. You put together this whole presentation for two yeah, images. You, you could have just posted no, 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 no. chat. You had that, a whole that's, that's stream not, for this. <laughs> that's not the reason I had this stream going. I wanted to test a, a little game show coming up if oh. we had time. I, I wanted to see if we ha- would have oh, time for that. Do it. Let's do that. It's fun. Do it. We do. Do it. It Charlie right. just took so, a shit. I don't have to take a shit. I think we have time. I, I definitely have. I, they, I think the witches are very strong because I have to take another fucking shit. So this is. What just, the are fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Just yeah, test it. No. I, I'm, I'm ready. We can go. I, I can hold it for the rest, I think. All right. Well, we'll try, we'll try to make this quick then. Um, so this isn't a completely original idea. I've seen it done on other shows, but it's basically taking two competing um, internet topics and pit, pit, like putting them up against each other and you guys vote for which one you think is the wackiest and oh. zaniest and we'll, we'll make them fight for the uh the title of um you know peak internet thing okay mm-hmm. all so, right all right so i i've compiled two two um topics today first one is anime girls with big boobs are more aerodynamic so this person wrote a 14-page, 10,000-word oh, yeah, engineering paper Holy on shit. how anime girls with big boobs are actually more aerodynamic than flat ones. So he's posted it? this on... Yeah, I'll, I'll open it a sec. Good for him. Yeah, all right. So here's the paper. So this is an actual an actual academic paper, 14 <laughs> pages. <laughs> wow, shit. it's got diagrams. Wait, wait. Yeah, wait not only does it have diagrams... Hang on, Jackson, scroll up, please. Jackson, can you install AdBlocker, please? Your screen's a goddamn joke. Holy yeah, shit. This is just Oh, my God. Air Force okay. accomplished, Jackson. Click to find out more. Hey, this is just Shut up okay. about the brazer. Oh, I have to take a shit. Browser. Stop yelling. Okay, the paper is called, for those who want to look it up, it's called Analysis and Qualitative Effects of Large Breasts on Aerodynamic Performance and Wake of a, quote, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid character. 
Does it also it's include online shopping now available? Get five dollars off your first shop at <laughs> FoodWorks Weekly Can Special you focus? Shop now. These ads are very effective on you, Andrew. Uh, I'm on the ad. Man, the I say. Can you zoom in a little? I, I can't read the abstract too much. My eyes are failing me. I don't know how to zoom in on this one. <laughs> okay, hold control <laughs> and hit plus or scroll up. Yeah, there you control go. and scroll up. Either there works. Uh, do you want me to read the abstract? What the uh, you fuck? don't need to. I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> that anime yeah, girls with big boobs are more aerodynamic. It's just, it's funny that someone spent the time to create a 14-page, 10,000-word-long engineering Holy paper. Shit. Look, there's actual, like... Yeah, uh, I've seen this. This was figures. pretty popular on Twitter a little while ago. I read a little of it. It's um, impressive. Yeah, there, there is a lot here that is impressive. Mostly the graphs. So, I, did I he like do, the so is the game show us? Do we have to decide if he did this as a joke or sincerely? So I think the idea of the game show is just to pick the topic that you think encapsulates <laughs> what the internet is the most. <laughs> so, like so, wow. simulations. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, look, like the actual wind. Sim These are what like NASA uses to test their uh, shuttles and stuff. Jackson, send me the link to this one. I'm gonna do something about this. This is fucking awesome. It is really cool. What do you you'll, mean you're you'll gonna like do something it. about this? Yeah, this is yeah, up my alley. I want to make a video or something on this. Send me that. It's like yeah. Oh, uh, he the links like will be in the description. Okay. By the way, like he he used lollycon models and shit too on the right. Like he's comparing flat little children to big titted milkers. Well, it's the same character but with different tit sizes. Yeah. yeah, he's just he's just edited the yeah. uh, tit size in Blender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he just slapped gigantic tits on a child model. Well, it's got nothing to do with children. He's just testing if titties uh, yeah, it's like anime. make any kind of effect with. Well, then what does it have to do with and perfecting your 3D cell culture? You can master the complete workflow from growth to quantitative <laughs> results. Ignore the ads. I'll fix it for next time. Jesus Christ. I can't, Jackson. It's taking up two thirds of the screen. Look at all these references. He's actually referenced. This is <laughs> <whole> fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, doing, fingers. Uh, I'm absolutely doing something around oh this. Oh my God. Like this. 20, 25 gag boobs <laughs> TV tropes. <laughs> on Holy shit. <laughs> What was the other one, Jackson? Yeah, What's do the other one. With? All right, so this week, the competitor in this arena of internet is Big Knee Lover. This is a user I found on DeviantArt who entirely um, oh, creates artwork with yeah, big knees. Yeah, I know knees. this one too. And I the yeah, the first one is the winner. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not even close. Yeah. All right, so you guys, you guys think look, that look, well, Big Me Lover you, is just <laughs> someone with a fetish drawing popular characters to uh, facilitate that fetish. That's everywhere. There are people with fetishes up, down, left, and right that are weird and bizarre and strange. The first one is an entire qualitative, scientific analysis of a question that people have asked only as a joke. That's the winner. That's the internet. Yeah, it's not even close, Jackson. Yeah. I have to shit so fucking bad again. I will be back in just a second. You go shit. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like Kyle right now. Hell. Oh my God. Hold on. It looks like um, they walk with testicles. Shit so so what, what my counter argument would be is that I don't think there's anything more internet than some someone using a website like DeviantArt to fulfill their fetish, their very niche fetish, and putting this much effort and time into it as well. I think that's very it's very, It's very, very common that makes your case, I guess. You're yeah. not wrong. I, I think the internet. internet is the most celebrated when you find things that are unique to one. Because the idea is that the internet is the largest congregation of people and information on the planet. So the internet mm -hmm. is the most celebrated when you find an individual who is entirely unique. So I think the guy who wrote a 14 page actual cited, sourced and calculated page on aerodynamics of anime titties is more internet and fascinating than another deviant art fetish profile, you know, 14 pages, not just one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Can you, can I you would... go to the comments of that reddit post jackson i want to see what people say yeah they're, to they're, him. they're mostly it's mostly just people uh like saying you know that's wacky jeez we're the breasts it, it, modeled as nothing... soft bodies <laughs> <laughs> I like how... <laughs> did you get the physics right quality content yeah it's just uh, i like that this person 
yeah, I like that this person created a 14 page, uh, like college thesis and it, people just <laughs> boil it down to the shitty, shitty comments like this quality content. I bet he felt real good about that. That's the internet. Holy shit. This guy should sell no, but I will. I will agree with you. I think I definitely find this kind of thing more interesting. Man. But I don't think th- discounting stuff like this just immediately and saying that it's no competition is is in the spirit of the game because I do think this does qualify as being, um, you know, yeah, representative it, it, it of what the best parts of the internet. It's just not nearly as good enough. You could have a race between a fucking Formula F1 car and a Honda Civic off the production line. It's like, yeah, they're both in the race, but it's not even a contest, you know? They're both cars. They're both driving. But I, well, I, I think... I think uh, to some people... <laughs> I think to some people... It could be. It's the advertisement. <laughs> That's funny as shit. I think it was a login screen. Yeah, it wants you to log in to look at more. DeviantArt sucks ass. Look, see, uh, my my major, um, like, I don't know, critique of Big Knee Lover is he's only got 17 pieces, and I don't think that, I don't think that's too impressive. I think he could have really expanded on his catalog, and I'll I'll also add to that by saying, uh, the artwork itself isn't great. I think there's room for improvement there, and mm-hmm. I also don't know who the characters are. This is a great so my show for critiques. an audio format, by the way. Well, that's why I'm... Rec- yeah. Well, uh, fuck, true. Yeah. Jesus, I forgot. <laughs> for for, for those of you listening, audience. as in most of our yeah. audience, we are looking at art of women with big knees. Just imagine it. Believe it or not. Yeah. Um, big oh, knees be links in, in the description. She literally drew like what looks like gigantic tits on her kneecaps, yeah. essentially. Drooping down. So Jackson, let me let me also explain why I definitely want to pick the analytical anime win resistance thing. Shit posting and doing things for a joke like that is extremely common now. There is a very real chance that Big Knee Lover is doing it entirely for a joke. Whereas this anime thing, yeah, there might be some level of joke to it, but the amount of work and effort to make an actual paper you're not gonna it's going beyond you know what i mean and that's why i think it's more yeah he i agree i do i i think i actually think that it's more likely that the anime titty one was done as a joke even though there's a lot of effort behind it i think like it was a joke to begin with that just kind of he he uh, added onto it obsessively and completed it whereas i think the knee thing is an actual f- person with a fetish fulfilling that fetish i don't think i think it's more likely that the anime thing is a joke and this is an, a genuine um you know person with that kind of desire mm-hmm. but I, I i agree i agree with you i think that this is the winner in my eyes as well for this how week old is that boob dynamics thing? four years oh wow all right oh. four year old has he, has he posted anything since can you go to his Profile. No, so I don't know if it's this one. Nimba. It's been suspended. Oh. <laughs> Reddit didn't. Oh, oh, Reddit didn't like that trying effort. to learn. And he's gone. Yeah. yeah. Reddit, Reddit didn't like that effort. Yeah. Jackson, that sucks. Can, you, can you open the weather panel at the bottom to make me feel better and change your Shut location? <laughs> Jesus, try to put a little bit of effort into the podcast, and it's just I, I appreciate evolving. it, but at the same time, I, I think a it. visual show is a terrible idea for a podcast. You know, there's not very many audio-based shows that we can do on the. podcast. We tried all that, and it, people hated it. That's when we had corners and little games and quizzes, and people didn't like it. We well, just we need to, need to expand our horizons. No, we don't. We're funny and, all, and interesting already. We'll, well see. We'll see what the people at home say this week. Let's find out what you guys far. think. We could do uh, a, let, let one or two. Know. Okay, we can talk about this and how to refine this game behind the scenes. Do Jackson, do you want to yeah. do like one or two viewer questions <gasps> till Charlie gets back? Oh, I think he is back. I heard a moan. No, we'll we'll just, we'll just end here. I'm We've back. been going for a while. Oh my god! All right, you came back just Charlie. in time for us to end the be show. The right. You'll be very surprised. You'll be very surprised to hear that anime tits won. Yeah, one right before I got up to take a shit. Kaya, whatever fucking voodoo magic you're <laughs> using is very powerful, though. You told that story, and now my ass is on fucking fire, and I've already shit my brains out twice. 
So I'll tell you, Charlie, never take for granted the ability to shit. That you can shit, that's a good thing. Even if you have to do it like twice in a row. All right. All righty, that does it for this up. week's episode. Thank you for listening. Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus content. Um, head on over there if you feel like it. Thanks to everyone. Goodbye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye, 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 everybody. Bye.